Now, we're looking for two binomials that multiply to give the given trinomial. Whenever I wasn't being challenged intellectually, my brain was more than happy to step up and accommodate. It was like having the perfect playmate in my skull. Sir, the Kobe satellite is going into an uncontrolled spin. So fix it! We can't. Our computer programs weren't designed to handle a chaotic system. Darn it! If only someone could calculate the maneuver and make it stable again. There is someone. And it's me. You're just a kid. A kid who knows to add an X-cubed term to a simple harmonic oscillator. If you extend the solar panel by one meter, you'll save your satellite. You heard him? Do it! Sheldon? Sheldon? Were you paying attention to anything I said? Yes. Then what I say? When factoring a trinomial where the leading coefficient isn't one, it must be written in descending order from highest power to lowest power. Well, yeah. You'll save your satellite. You heard him. Do it! It worked! The satellite is stable! Yes! Thanks, kid. You really saved my bottom. Tell your bottom it's welcome. So, when we divide R by the length of R, that would be a vector of unit length parallel to R. Sir, bad news. Don't tell me. There's another problem we're not smart enough to solve? It's a satellite. The liquid helium is boiling off. Well, why the heck would that happen? I'll tell you why. The sun must be glinting off the solar panel and hitting the doer. Why didn't you know that? I'm a disappointment, sir. We need to calculate all the Euler angles that would cause the sun to hit the liquid helium. Then you do it in time. I can with my new friend, Dr. John Sturgis. Hello. Hi. He's gonna marry my Mimo. I bought her a bicycle. A purple bicycle. Purple? Sounds like love to me. <sighs> Mr. Cooper! <laughs> Are you paying attention? I already know this. You know this? But they don't, so by all means, continue. 